Welcome back to the Hello darkness, my old friend I've come to talk with you again And DIY guys today we got a D2 review uh, I haven't done too many of these but it's only been on products that I stand by I'm not getting paid for them so there's no sponsorship or anything like that but uh, the nice folks over at super clean as you can see here they sent me an email if you guys are a company or your company you work for want to do the same uh, you could find my email in the about section here and it's gonna be D2 wrenchworks DIY at gmail.com so what we did get is a cool little package from them and uh, great great to be able to like look after their products and try them out. Uh, this channel, you know, is a DIY channel. We do a ton of cleaning. I go through at least one of these a year. And I got about three of these bottles I keep in various places because I use so much of this stuff and I refill it all the time. Uh, it's not really worth getting anything else that's not from Concentrate. I've been pretty happy with this simple green stuff. I've used Purple Power. Um, really, they're all kind of the same to me. So reviewing this, like, uh, I got their email from them a little over a month ago now, so I really put it through its paces, and uh, I wanted to share here what we got in the little mailbox. So let's go through that now. Alright, so there we go. These are all the products that they had sent me to test out. Being an automotive guy my whole life, this is one of the cool things that I thought. They're, they're oil dry. It's some very quick pickup stuff. It's not cheap. Like what your, you know, cat litter type stuff you can get cheap at any auto parts store or Walmart or what have you. Uh, this stuff's real nice. It's got an awesome lid on it. So you don't have to take it off just like I did, but... Uh, you should, one thing I want to show you, you shake this around, it doesn't have all that dust that flies out that takes up a ton and it's super wasteful if you're using this stuff in bulk. Big uh, little oil spill, draining all these, draining my oil pan into a bunch of little jars so I could recycle it and it cleaned it up by far the best stuff I've ever used. So glad to, glad to use that, glad to add that to my little collection for my shop. Right now I haven't been doing too much automotive work but if you do, uh, or even if you're just doing small stuff like me in a one-car garage, uh, it's nice to have something like this around, especially if you got animals, you know, you need to clean up a mess real quick. That's the stuff to do it. It does it super quick, too. You're using a lot less material. The texture to it, it's, uh, you'll see in the video here, it's just much different. And it, whatever it's made of does a much better job absorbing things. So we'll check that off the table here. I'm, now I'm kind of cluttering myself up here. One of the coolest things I did want to note, uh, I mean, not only is the product high quality, everything's foaming on it, so it gets very good coverage. It just gives you the ability, when you're doing super, super disgusting stuff like I am with bikes and chains and cassettes, uh, I'll often replace them when I'm upgrading a bike, but I keep that old stuff, and I, what I want to do is I want to take something like this and put it in a jar, you know, and soak the parts in there. It takes a long time. Having something that's going to, be durable. Number one, I like the bottles. You know, you could drop them, kick them around, whatever, uh, and recycle them. These sprayers are freaking insanely nice. Let me get this bottle again. This is actually one that I bought from Walmart, and I bought multiple of these. Of these. This is like, after looking for over an hour, one of the best like spray bottle reviews I could find. And I hate it. I think it's crap. Uh, it jams up all the time. This little thing in here. Not good. Um, honestly, when I'm done with all these super clean bottles, that is, I'm gonna start using them for like, I use, for example, and this one is rubbing alcohol. So that's what I'll do. I'll probably keep them around the house now. Uh, so just wanted to point that out.
Oh yeah, if you made it this far, a little sneak peek for you. There's my ceiling in my living room was absolutely covered in formula. Uh, we got an announcement coming out after this video. We got a little tiny puppy, a new family member, uh, a baby whippet that we we're rescuing. He has a cleft palate, so uh, he basically was going to die if we didn't tube feed him. Uh, my wife's a veterinarian doctor, so a specialist in the ER, and uh, luckily he came to us. You know, it was cool. So. The formula went all over the roof as we're trying to like syringe tube feed him and uh, that's super clean stuff. I got my mop and like went all the way up on the ceiling and yeah, it did a great job. I wanted to throw that in the video. I almost forgot it and uh, kind of wanted to like keep the whippet thing a surprise. But uh, yeah, tune into the next video. You'll see that and uh, thanks for watching. I mean, when you're looking at just the product and it looks insanely high end when you're just talking about the sprayer in the bottle, like that gives you a good clue of this kind of product you're going to be dealing with. So the actual product though, for Thanksgiving, I made a huge mess. Uh, I can cook, but I'm no chef. And so I learned on my own and I'm a pretty messy cook. Uh, you know, you'll see here, I destroyed my kitchen, making a four course meal for Thanksgiving. And uh, thank God I had this stuff. This bottle is actually almost empty because I've been using it so much. And uh, this is their, they, I'm not really sure how to differentiate the two, but this is, they have a normal one and then a foaming one, but this one still foams. So uh, they seem to be the same strength, both very, very strong stuff. Uh, if you do use any of this, I do advise you, uh, and it even says on the label, so always check your labels and stuff. Dab it on a rag if you're doing some aluminum that's like high in aluminum. You want to make sure you don't want to like make any like, I guess they're like chemical burn spots or something. Sometimes aluminum reacts to certain chemicals. So uh, you want to make sure you do check that out because like this is strong stuff. But uh, I, you know, I didn't hesitate to use it on my kitchen. You know, our oven was completely destroyed. So as I said, made quite a mess. So, uh, but within, you know, a, 20 minutes of going over it and using this super clean. The thing looks brand new again. It's looked better than when we moved in to tell you the truth. It was never even fully clean. So uh, using these two for just the basic house stuff, uh, like, you know, sometimes I'll hit the light switch and stuff like that. And my hands are still a little greasy from working on stuff. Knocks this out. Incredibly, incredibly useful stuff. Absolutely crushes the simple green. Like I said, we're, we're not going to be using the simple green anymore. This is definitely going to replace it. And Great for the garage or great for around the house. Great for your kitchen. Uh, I have an outdoor grill. It's freezing cold now, so obviously I'm not gonna be using that anytime soon or have the past month, but uh, I'm going to ravage my grill with this stuff and the steel brush when it gets nice and warm again. Uh, I just know car stuff, you know, engines. They can, you might have a car that's 200,000 miles, you know, your daily driver. Spray that all cover the engine block and all that stuff. We got the automotive section over here too for that and uh, like a phenomenal good product though. And like I said, you could use it for anything. Uh, this is their more automotive based stuff. This is their wheel cleaner. I did not get to use this on a wheel, but I did use this on something that gets much worse than, you know, a little brake dust. You can honestly spray most of that off with a good pressure washer and a car wash. Now you want to talk about something really messy worse than, than uh, brake dust is the grease that gets on these chains that are on bikes and it gets on the cassettes and this is actually almost empty as well uh, this very good stuff for wheels pretty strong this foaming stuff for is this for engines and stuff I guess it doesn't really say it just says it's in an aerosol can it seems either it just foams better or it comes out faster. I'm not sure, but it seems like this is much stronger. Uh, but both of them worked out excellent. Uh, I have this Vitus 9, 9, uh, Vitus 9 Plus road bike that I'm rebuilding. And I basically am using all these recycled parts that I didn't really have anything to do with. A cassette and a chain didn't want to mess with them because they were just so filthy and disgusting. Uh, this really saved me a lot of energies just waiting forever and scrubbing and cleaning it again and then scrubbing again. It could be a, a nightmare of a process if I don't have something to actually soak them in. So having this, I just threw them in my kitchen sink. Uh, first broke it down with a bunch of this and a little wire brush 
and then I came back to the chain. The chain was the worst part and I just sprayed this multiple times. Uh, let it soak for five minutes or so at a time and the chain looks like new. Uh, I couldn't believe how nice it came out. And you know, that's a cassette's like 25 bucks for a bike for what I'm, I'm fixing and cleaning. It's not super expensive, but you know, a chain is also 15 to 20 bucks. So, you know, you're talking 50 bucks I saved in stuff that somebody would probably throw away just because it looks so, so dirty. Um, I, I just want to thank, you know, big shout out to Super Clean for thinking of me. As I said, if you're a company thinking about getting, you know, your a video done for you, I'd be happy to review it, you know? It's a fun thing to do. Helps me clear out some of my projects I put off too, so can't lie, like my oil in the garage, I've been meaning to recycle that for about six months now, so I probably have like five gallons of oil. But uh, yeah, so that's that, and uh, thanks for tuning in guys. I'm almost at 300, oh no, I'm almost at 400 subscribers. I think I'm at 358 right now when this video comes out. It's the end of the year. I hope you have a happy holidays. I hope you have a good new year. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. Bye.